y'all. How are you doing? I am having a fucking day. Let me tell you. Okay, so I decide it's cold out. I'm gonna put the fireplace on, get the wood going. Why it takes me an hour and a half to get the fireplace going, I have no idea. The wood's wet. It's not freaking burning. I had to go find some cardboard. I leave the room, my dog starts crying, like whining. What the fuck? So I go back in. He's perfectly fine. He's crying. He's not even sleeping. He's just crying. I don't know what's wrong with him. Every time I leave the room, he's been doing it all day. I can't with him. I don't know what's wrong. He's eight. He's got water. There's plenty of stuff for him to... I can't. I sit down to film. I have to hit stop. Go back downstairs because he's freaking out again. I don't know what's going on. Ugh. I need a nap. Okay? That's, that's what I need. I need a nap. Anybody else have one of those days? Okay, so my desk is a mess. It's a mess. I've like got you zoomed in on me because my house is not a mess. Everything's clean. Just my desk. I tried to sit down and do my finances earlier, make sure all the bills were paid for the upcoming week. I, I can't even do that. The dog's freaking crying. Five minutes, I need five minutes. I got three bills this week. Trying to put away money for the following week. Okay, so last time I went downstairs, I got a cup of coffee. So I'm staying hydrated with coffee today. Okay. Mm. I know I have been having a really hard time uploading my videos. I've gotten two videos done, but apparently my editing is just taking me forever. I, I don't know why. I, I want to start this year. I know it's February 3rd, so it's Friday. I want to upload four videos a month. Not bad. That's, that's one video per week. Shouldn't be hard. I have time on Tuesdays to, to, to make the video. And then I have the weekend to upload. So I'm thinking maybe I might start uploading on Monday. But I'm having a really hard time. I finished my last one. I haven't even put it up yet. I finished my last video and I'm having a really hard time with the thumbnails. Like I get really, really frustrated and then I just stop. It's not that I'm giving up because I don't want to give up. I enjoy doing this and I want to share my experience with you or anybody that wants to watch these videos. It comes a time where I just want to sit down. I want to be left alone. I shut the door and I, I just want to edit my video. I get halfway through. Here comes hubby. He wants to chill up here and lay in bed and I, I get it. It's his downtime. I understand that. But at the same time, I'm like, can you just leave me the flip alone? So I've been dealing with that and it's not him. I know it's not. That's, that's a me problem, not a him problem. I don't know. I just, I get frustrated real easy lately and I haven't been uploading. And I don't know if I'm going to put any of this on the internet and I might just delete all that, but I wanted to get that out there. So, back to that cup of coffee. Oh, by the way, I've been up since five o'clock this morning. So, you know, it's only 1.30 and I'm already on cup number two. No, cup four. This is my fourth cup of coffee today. Yeah, it's been one of those days. But hey, I remember to put chicken in the crock pot today. <laughs> Anyway, let's get to the real video. The reason why we are here is because I went to Sephora. Yay! Picture time. Ooh, I also went and got my bangs trimmed today. Loving that for me. I can finally see. And once I really do my hair and poof them up, they'll look really good. She cut them. They look good. I'm happy. They're out of my eyes. So I did a small Sephora haul. Hubby and I went out and... I went to work with him to tag along and ride with him and talk with him. And we ended up going to his favorite spot of the day, which was Best Buy. He went to check something out. And I was like, ooh, well, since we're at Best Buy, can we go over to Sephora? So I don't have a Sephora store near me. Uh, we have, what is that, Sephora inside of, is that Target or Kohl's? No, Kohl's. There's a Sephora inside of Kohl's over by the shopping complex. Not near us, but we were out and about. We were heading down south to the shoreline. <clears throat> and then when we were coming back, I'm like, hey, can we swing by Sephora since it's right there in the same, the same 
shopping center as Best Buy. So we went to Best Buy, we looked for what he wanted. Um, they didn't have what he wanted, so the one in town actually had the one he wanted. So we went over to Sephora, and I was looking for, believe it or not, I was looking for a new concealer. So what did I end up getting? Not a concealer. Why? Because they didn't have the shade that I wanted. So what did I get? I got a bronzer. Yeah. So I got the new, uh, I don't really know if it's new, but I've been hearing really good things about it. So to me, it's new. It's the NARS Laguna Bronzing Cream. So I want to give it a, give it a whirl. And this is an 02 original. Now I've already used this, I have to say, but it's what it looks like. And it's pretty good. It's really creamy. I've used a pretty thick brush, bronzing brush. Been using this one actually. And this is the uh, Baked Kabuki F89 from Sigma. And I've actually been using this for um, my bronzing and I've been enjoying it. Sorry, it's dirty. I used it the other day. So I got this. So I'm really excited. I've been keeping it up here in my little compartment aisle right here in front of me because not only do I do my filming here but I also do my makeup and my finances apparently so I've been holding on to the packaging so I can do this video it's very creamy it's very easy to work with um, it, it does apply a little a little dark actually you know what let's apply some I haven't I did my makeup early this morning I had, like I said, I had errands to run. So I went to the bank this morning. I deposit my check and then I had a hair appointment to get my, um, my bangs trimmed because they were hanging in my face. So I went there, I got my bangs trimmed, left there, went and picked up dog food. So I just did my eyes. I did a little bit of concealer today. I don't know if you can tell. Do you see any lines? Do you? Okay, well, what concealer did I use this morning? Might need to know that. I used, oh, I used my Maybelline Fair Claire. And what I did is I put used this as my um, eye primer and then just put it all over. And then I just blended everything out. So this is what I used today. This is for my bronzer. So it looks really dark, <clears throat> but I've just been picking it up on my brush and then tapping it in. You guys will probably see better on this side. I do not know if you guys can hear the wind. It is super windy outside. And then what I like doing, I actually like taking this brush. This is just a powder brush, but I like taking this one because it's a little bit thicker, but fluffy at the same time.
really easy. I know it, it goes on a little dark. Oh. But it is super easy to blend. And it stays in place all day. And then usually afterwards, I will just take a setting spray and just spray my face and then be done with it. I'm not even bothering under here because I'm not going out. It is 30 degrees outside and windy as anything. So I am not going anywhere. <clears throat> but that's the application. I think it looks really good. So anyway, back to my story. I was at Sephora because I really wanted to try out the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And I wasn't sure what shade to get, as you've seen in my previous video. Hopefully, I'll upload that one before this one. I don't know what shade I am. So, I ended up going with, and I will probably butcher the name, but I will put it down here. Chantilly. So, I got this color. It's very... Oh, hold on. Let me see if you can... There we go. It's very soft ask me but it's light one chantilly is the name of it so that's what I got what I've been doing with this one is I've been taking this brush once again my brushes are very dirty I've been taking my concealer f75 brush and I will take the tips of it like the very tip and then just kind of dot it in there and then I will just place it down here and I've been taking this uh 4D, I don't even know what this is called, 4D HD brush, and then I just kind of blend it out underneath. So just a very little bit. I have a feeling this is going to last me a while, but that's what I got. That was my, my haul, but they didn't have my shade, so I actually had to go online at the Sephora that we went to. They didn't have my, my shade, the one that I found that I thought would look really good on me. They didn't have it, so I actually ended up going online and ordering it. Literally the only thing I ordered. So hubby bought me the the bronzer and I paid for the concealer. So I've never tried anything from NARS. This is actually my first time. I don't know why I'm putting it back in the box. I don't need the box now. I've already shown it to you. So I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna put that in with my NARS bronzer. Fits nice up there. So two boxes out. Oh. So then later that weekend, we decided to go to Target. So later, I think it was like the next day we decided, I think it was last weekend we went, the kids weren't home, we had nothing to do, and I wanted to run to Walmart to go pick up some wash rags, um, cause we're getting low on them. So I went to pick up some new wash rags. So I'm like, hey, let's go to Walmart. I wanna do this, do you wanna come with me? He said, sure, I'll ride along. So we go to Walmart, we're perusing, like just randomly walking around, trying to find what we need it. And I'm like, hey, I want to go over to Target. I want to check out their ColourPop line, see if they have anything for ColourPop there. And uh, he wanted to look at something. He was like, yeah, let's go over to Target. He's like, I could go for a Starbucks. I'm like, all right. So we go over there. He graciously buys us some coffee and we peruse around. I ended up picking up four things from ColourPop. So in my last video, I did a concealer declutter and I ended up keeping my ColourPop Pretty Fresh uh, Creamy Hyaluronic Concealers, but I am almost out of the 40 Neutral. So I wanted to see if they had the 20. I noticed on some of the videos that I've done, you can see like a line underneath, like going straight up like that. So I thought maybe, maybe that one just might be a little too dark for me. So I went and I picked up Fair 20 neutral. I like these and I figured if it's too, too light for me, my daughter is like 10 times lighter than I am. So she actually might use this. I know this looks really light, but let's see. Can you see it? It looks really light. I am wearing layers today. I wasn't going to do a swatch video, but God, excuse me. Mm, I think this is going to pull more yellow. I mean, I really won't know until I use it. I covered up my freckle on my hand pretty good. I mean, blend it out. It is slightly yellow, so I don't know. I'm going to have to give it a try. 
I don't know if you can see it. It's right, it's right here. But it's blended out. It might work. I really don't know until I try it. So, but that's what I picked up. I also picked up setting spray, no filter setting mist from ColourPop. And I think this one cost me like $12. So you can see there's like a little white rim. I don't know if you can see that. But do you see that line? There's like a little white rim right there. It does say shake well. Is that the freaking bottle? No filter setting mist. A micro fine finishing mist that sets makeup with soft blurring powders for a flawless perfect finish. Shake well, hold six to eight inches away from face, close eyes and mist directly on the skin. Use after makeup to set all day. Well, I'm not just gonna spur my face. Let's see if we can see the mist. Not bad. Oh, it's got a lemon fret. Oh, that smells like a lemon. Oh, that smells good. It smells like lemon and baby, lemon and baby powder. Okay, maybe that's where the um, blurring powder, powders come from, but that smells really good. Let me spray the back of my hand. Yeah, like a very soft citrus. I smell lemons. I smell a lemon, but this smells really good. And I got this because I'm literally almost out of this one. Like I had a hard time getting some of this out today. So this will be something new I can use. I also picked up, oops, I'm just making a mess over here. I clean up my mess. I'm telling you, my, my desk is so cluttered. But I'm going to take this and put it over here. Two ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. Oh my goodness. So I got, this one is Frog. And this one is in Ritz. I don't know if you can see them, but let's take out Ritz first. I've already used these. I'm not too sure how I feel about them. I like the way they apply using your finger. I don't like the way they apply using a brush. As you can see, I've already used, this one's Ritz. Yeah, it's a very soft champagne color, almost like a topper. And then the next one I got was Frog. I am a sucker for purples purples with sparkles in it. Oh yeah, I'm a sucker. But this one looked purple, but when I got it home, it's actually pink, but it looked like a purple in the store. I'm telling you, that's why I got it. Cause I thought it was purple, but it's actually pink and that's okay. I don't mind. Cause I created a really nice look with this. This one right here is frog and then this one right here is Ritz so they're very soft but when you put them on the eyes they have they have a bling they have a shimmer I noticed that at the end of the night when I come home from work especially when I work those long hours um, and I don't get home till like 8 30 at night I'm, I'm ready to come home and wash my face it's one of the first things I do I need to wash my face because these sparkles or just, they gotta go. I'm over them. I can just like feel the dirt and the grime. Um, but that's just me personally from working and wearing a mask and makeup all day. Um, and that's nobody's, that's nobody's problem but my own. But yeah, that was my little haul that I did. 
So I did a little Sephora shopping and I got some new ColourPop stuff. Um, I didn't spend much money. I think the concealer was $9 at Target and I think these were $5. I don't have the receipt, but I think these were $5 a piece. $12 for the setting and then $9 for the concealer. And then the bronzer I didn't pay for and then I paid like $32 for the concealer. So that is my Sephora haul. Thank you for sharing my experience with me. I appreciate you guys listening. And um, maybe in the next video I'll be trying it out. I already tried out some of the bronzer, but I mean, come on. That bronzer just looks good, right? Like, I picked out a good bronzer. I like this. But maybe um, in my next video we'll try out all this stuff together. All right. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you all are doing well. Stay hydrated. Make sure you're drinking your water or coffee, whichever you need. And um, make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button. And leave a comment below. Tell me what you uh, bought recently this year. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.